Hello and welcome to episode 27 of Pokemon Horizons. I was 27 to Pokemon Horizons episode 27. The All right. Well, last week we were on the airship and I loved that episode. I actually really liked it. I assume we're going to stay in Galar up until episode 30. Because I actually looked back at one of the earlier videos I did and I predicted at that video, I think it was episode 19, I said I think we're gonna stay in Galar for 8 to 10 episodes, and I still think that. So, past, pe past Peach, good job on that prediction. I think we're gonna be... So that was episode 19 I said that, I think. Because I really don't want this show to be kind of like how Journeys was, where the current gen didn't really get love. Um, I do like that they're doing a lot of Galar, because, I mean, for example, Galar got not basically nothing in Journeys. But I don't want them to overcorrect and make it so that Paldea doesn't get any love. Uh, so hopefully, after episode 30, it's be like, alright, you have made up for what Journeys failed at. One of the many things that Journeys failed at. Now, come on, let's go to Paldea. I do think, uh, like... When I, in my live stream, I talked with Lazu, nah, not Lazu, Duplin about this. It's the fact that we both think that they probably will go back to Sinnoh a little bit, just because they mentioned, you know, Hisui. It really feels like, all right, yeah, they're gonna set up that they're probably gonna, we're probably gonna have an arc in Sinnoh. I don't think it's gonna be in this season. I think it's gonna be in, in the next season, is my prediction. I think the next Pokemon we're gonna find and probably add to the team is gonna be Lapras. Uh, and then it's gonna be Cleavor. And then obviously the Black Request has to be the last one, right? Uh, some comments uh, from my episode 26 reactions. Both of them are from Duplin. I'm guessing gym battles aren't going to be a thing in this series. Maybe once this storyline is over, they will do it in the next series. Like a previous generations were split into different series, i.e. advanced into advanced challenge. Yeah, I think so. And I guess I should, I should say series. When I say seasons, I mean series. Just like how Duplin just mentioned. I think you're right. Even though, I mean, is this a new series? Because this is like Terrapagos something. To me... What we are in at the moment is part is like season one, part two, right? The first chapter was like season one, chapter one. Now we're like season one, chapter two. And now, now when this thing is over, that's when we go into season two. That's my prediction. I would like to see gym challenge. So maybe uh, what Horizon might do is that maybe they'll finish this little thing that they're doing with, you know, the... Lucius's Pokemon and all that. Maybe it will finish in like one season, maybe one and a half. Uh, instead of stretching it for like three seasons. I don't know. Uh, because, I mean, we already have four out of the seven Pokemon, right? Uh, no, no, wait. We have Arboliva, Galarian, Moltres... It's those two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that they had one more. Or two more. because And then obviously Terrapagos. Uh, and I was thinking like, ah, they have one more. Uh, but that's not the case. Uh, so yeah. <coughs> because I mean, I really want to see the gyms. Alright, well, let's go into this episode. All right, and I would really like to see Liko do the gym challenge, but I wouldn't mind if it was maybe Dot. <coughs> like maybe they would like transition into like uh, what makes Dot leave uh, the room. For an extended period of time is her wanting to do the gym battles. Because she had a lot of fun battling. Oh, seeing Terrapagas in Chance's pouch. That's cute. Uh... 
Right? It doesn't feel comfortable. <coughs> That's true. You know, sometimes planning is worthless if you're never gonna, you know, do your plan. Is it like in saying like go for okay rather than perfect? Because you're never gonna achieve perfection. So if you just plan for perfection, you're never really gonna accomplish anything. The gleam of Terrapagos. I mean, I will say this opening, I've listened to it a few times. I love it. Uh, I love everything about this opening except for this part with the male voice. I really don't like it. Um, but it's, I mean, come on, Roy, please use your uh, uh, water roll more. You caught a water roll. And you've had the opportunity to use it, but we've never seen you use it. Come on. You had an episode with the fact that, ah, you know, Water felt a bit left out. I, I would like to see Water Roll out more. Maybe used in fights also. Instead of just... Um, Fukuoka. Yeah, I mean, it looks great. Paul will skip the intro, however, in future episodes because I've seen it many times. <laughs> Alright, some score with fighting over an orange berry. Alright, that's pretty cool. Seeing a ninja and a lantern having being friends. I was hoping, are we going to see a Shedinja? My favorite ghost type. <coughs> oh. That was an Onyx. Uh, come on, Roy. Come on, R R Onyx. Slap him. Oh, is this like the referencing like the wild area? <coughs> he's like, yes, I can sense if he's close, uh, but he's not close at the moment. Oh, hello, Dot. <coughs> uh, I want to see Dot with her hair up more. I like your eyes, Dot. All right. It's kind of like, and don't trust everything you see online. I mean, maybe it's not false information, you know? Maybe something happened to your informant. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sweet Jesus is like, oh, me too. God damn it. Do I have to come? I wish it was just Dot and Liko. But I understand. Like, Roy wouldn't just sit out. It's not in his character. It could be that, oh, a Dreadnought. I have bad memories of Dreadnought. Nessa's Dreadnought destroying me. <coughs> Are we gonna see Nessa? He's like a snapping turtle. No, 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 it's not trying. It was just Jan. It was using the move Jan. <coughs> the red noise is a lot bigger than I thought. So why were you hiding in the bushes? <laughs> Just, well, go train. I mean, you two getting absolutely destroyed by Captain Pikachu, like... <coughs> They're like, uh, fuck you, Garganackle. Alright, so this is final. Alright. So they are sending them, they keep sending them false information and all that. Okay, that's good. So at least we still see the spinal is still competent. Yeah, so at least we have Amethyos and Spinal are like the competent admins. And we haven't seen what the Medichan trainer is like. Well then try it. Come on. <laughs> Alright. The next best thing, right? <coughs> I want to try Liko's curry as well. Nice. Good job. And Quaxley is fine with that. Like, man, I don't want to be holed up in the room. Especially if we can get some Lico curry. <coughs> and they're like talking about, you know, different families, different tastes. Yeah. Like, it's the same thing, and the thing about curry is, you know, it's so versatile. Or I would say cooking overall, it's very versatile. 
Like even if you follow a recipe, you know what? Don't be afraid of changing it up. If you know that, ah, you know what? I don't like this ingredient. Don't use that ingredient. Switch it out with something you like. Or be like, ah, you know what? There's too little of this ingredient. Add more. Cooking is an imprecise science. You're like, for Coco, we need a lot of these. Oh, and then greed and <laughs> just stealing it. <laughs> oh no, poor. Oh, for Coco. <laughs> God. You probably look down, uh, Roy. All right, good job, Roy. <coughs> but you are at a disadvantage, Roy, because that's a normal ground type. And both of your Pokemon are not good against that. But it would be cool if you threw out your Wattroll, Roy. Maybe use Wattroll to inform the other people. Shit, we need help. Good job, Quaxley. Like, we don't like that. We don't like getting wet. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, I like your outfit, Liko. I like, you know, taking off the jacket. Does it have gluttony as its ability? I like the look of spaghetti though. <coughs> Alright, we're learning how to cook. Kare. Liko and Roy Kare. I would rather, uh, you know what, I would taste the Liko one first. Add some love. Yeah. There we go. Some love. Oh, and I do the heart the same way Liko does. Alright. Me and Liko are the same. Oh, and I like her flustered look. Oh, hello, Diana. Uh, I forgot <laughs> you were here. All right, I guess sherry berries are spicy. Oh, and I like that the chef has both of them. Oh. I mean, didn't he already have Likos on his plate? In his bowl? I mean, judging by how they have been reacting, I might actually maybe prefer a bit more of Royce because I actually like a spicy curry. Uh, I assume Likos is a bit more on the sweet side, which isn't really my preferred curry. Uh, but I will still taste Likos first.
Yeah, eating together. I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if he actually has a drampa in the back. We've only seen his quagsire, but he looks like a drampa. So I wonder if it is kind of like his ace Pokemon is a drampa. That's why we haven't seen it yet because it's like way older than him. So he doesn't use it very much because, you know, it's not in the best shape. Uh, or self-destructs. Because <coughs> I think the move she said was self-destruct, right? Because I think explosion is the Japanese name for explosion, while Danghang da da is the name for self destruct. I could be wrong, I probably am, but that's what I think. Alright, so they are informing the admins. I mean, you two shouldn't be too confident, <laughs> you know? You got one versus two by their Pikachu. You know, and you don't know about their other Pokemon, so... Oh. That's something. Like, I always assumed that they were always, you know, around. But maybe their Pokeball are just in certain areas. And that is what Rayquaza is doing. is flying around trying to find the Pokeball. And then it activates the Pokeballs. And then they're free. And that kind of like would explain, you know, like why no one has seen. <coughs> I think you're onto something right there, Amethyos. I think you're correct. I would like to see Amethyos and Spinal team up. Because obviously they are rivals in the Explorer group. But I think they're the only two competent ones. Well, we don't know the Medichan, how she is. But my assumption is that she's on the level as Sango and Onyx. Like, thanks for helping me get out, out of my shell. Yes. I don't just think so, I know so. Oh. Well, that's good. The old man doesn't have to walk. He can just sit on Metagross, so that's good. Alright, so this was a false lead made by Spinal. But they got closer together, so that's good. Hello, <laughs> why didn't you mention it before? And 
who could that be? Hey, <laughs> like, what do you think, Pikachu? You're the captain here. Ah, all right. Kind of wish she would have given us a name. All right, so Mibrim is gonna be feeling some like suspicious aura from uh, the guy that Diana recommended them to meet. Maybe that's not the guy re Diana recommended, uh, but just some other uh, what's it called antique shop owner. Cause that guy looked. He just had a stall, while it seemed like she was talking about an actual antique store, like a boutique or something. I actually liked the episode overall. Uh, I mean, my biggest criticism is the fact that, Roy, throw out your fucking water roll. I mean, the thing is that, to me, is that they don't have many Pokemon, and they still are only using the same Pokemon, right? Come on. You're... Not taking care of your water roll. Roy, you're a bad trainer. <laughs> you know, like, that is the bad thing I thought about this episode. That he didn't use his water roll. Everything else I thought, like, yeah, yeah, it was a good chill episode. My favorite scene was probably the scene with Spinal and Amethyos. Like, when Amethyos being like, I agree with Spinal, actually. Um, and then Spinal going, huh. You know, and then Amethyst's theory that Rayquaza is actually activating the Pokeballs and not the Pendants. Which I think is correct. It's the one that makes them come out of their Pokeball. I kind of wish they would have told us a little bit about how Liko's curry tastes like. We got like, it's way too spicy, dude. And we could see that, you know, Royce was spicy, but... I didn't get any indication on Likos. My assumption is that Likos is uh, sweet. Uh, because, you know, it's Pecha Berries. But I don't know, are Pecha Berries sweet? I know the berries have flavor. Let's say Pecha Berries taste. Because, I mean, obviously it's based on a peach. It's very sweet. Yeah. That's, like, what is description. So her curry is probably a sweet curry, which I don't... When I make my curries, I don't tend to make them sweet, but next time I make one, I'll make a sweet curry. Even though I prefer other types. Might even make one with some peaches, who knows? Maybe that's a future cooking with peach I might make. Lico-inspired pe uh, Lico inspired curry. But I like the episode. I guess you can consider it... F no, I wouldn't consider this filler. <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, we got the thing with the explorers, and we got character development, not only with explorers, uh, but I, I don't know, I really like the the Lico and Dot scenes we got, they got a bit closer. I actually like the curry making part, and I like cooking, so I've seen cooking, uh, but this is the type of cooking I like, you know, like the type of cooking, you know, you actually make food food. I don't really care that much about baking. 